everything. In regards to the Jewish sense, you know, he doesn't want to talk about Jewish sense. He says, I've already shown things, he gets asked a lot about his sense, and he's already said everything. In regards to the Jewish sense, he says, again, I have said everything. So, pretty clear, really, he's not happy with Jesus Sancho. Unless Jesus Sancho is basically prepared to apologize and do the right thing and try and work hard and eat the shit camel for a while and work his way back into the seat, he's probably never going to see Jesus Sancho. Do you think? You know what he needs to do? He just needs to swallow his pride. He needs to get a nice bouquet of flowers together, like for Mr. and Mrs. Kemba. See if you're a United <laughs> Crisis. See if you're not a crisis. I'm sorry. He needs an I'm sorry card. No he needs to go there, knock on Eric Ten Hag's door. Where yeah, is so I played the uh, ten minutes. I played the 10 so hours say, trial, I'm sorry, yeah. but I just got the game. I bought the standard edition. Um, the reason why I bought the standard edition is because for the last four years, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, and even 23, I've been hacked and they've fucked me up all the thing. And I've just been wasting my money. You know? I like FIFA, I like the game. Well, I'm not going to just waste my money on the ultimate and pump money into the game, knowing that basically I'm not getting a fair chance to compete, you know. You know what I mean? So, obviously, this is the new game. This is the first of it. Um, yeah. So, hopefully, this is recording my voice. Um, hopefully, my voice is on there. So, I'm going to coach myself through the game. I'm going to talk and say exactly what I'm doing, say exactly what I'm trying to do, where I'm aiming what's going wrong, why in real time, while I'm recording. So hopefully nothing ends up happening, happening to the mic, the whole system with the OBS. Because eventually they're going to try and fuck with it. And, but yeah, okay, cool. I've polished this 10 hard cards. I mean, that's not a bit wrong. But you know what I mean? I'm on your lawn. So I named my account Glitch Account. Because it's not really Glitch. I'm being cyber attacked and that. And then, like, obviously, you know what that means. DDoS attack. Where they overload your internet, cause lags, cause you should be disconnected from the internet. Obviously, it's all on the cyber attack. They do all sorts of things, overload your memory, um, take over your controller. Um, you know, like how they take, you can control your phone. Like, you know, that way they can, a hacker can use ransomware, shut down your shit. So basically, a cyber attack works like that. Ransomware, spyware, malware. So, malware monitors everything you're doing on screen, ransomware gives them complete control over the device, spyware also does the same thing, Mal malware infects it and then they use the malware to put spyware and uh, ransomware in there, so you get it, cyber attack for the whole thing, you know, you know what I mean? It's taking ages to load up. Uh, it seems it's disconnected. That I, so basically, last night my that was the end of my ten-hour trial. Yeah. Um. Or I've been trying to do the daily thing, the daily, the daily objective. It just won't register, innit, man? Um. Night mad ready. Evil on swoosh classic. So you can see eleven hour was it one hour forty five minutes. I don't have the night mad ready card. Win three matches with an English player starting 11. Mm, score 10 with Frenchman. I've got four there. One there. Um, win six matches with the Brazilian. So I won't be able to get the, um, the Dino. Yeah. Mm. So team pursue objective. Um, live. So this one. Yeah, so okay, it works. Uh, okay. 
400 XP. Daily objective. So that, that, that. We get at the end of it. Mm, not much there. So, mad ready, don't have mad ready. Team pursuit. Mm, I've got, got to build up a club in it. Swoosh classic. So I need to have. I've got one English, oh yeah, I've got English players in the squad. I've got French players in the squad. I've got no Brazilians, so I need to put Brazilians in there. Yeah, um, yeah, so then, yeah. still need to do this. I'm not sure who I want there. Um, go alone, Rod, Rodman on, what's that? Rodman. Um, center back. Obviously, I'm gonna go with the, this girl here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't find what that one is. It's this one, loyalty. That's rubbish. I don't know what that is. I'm not interested in that. But knowing them, if I delete it, they're gonna want want it from me. Want me to use it at some point, so I keep it for now. We got seven parks. Um, seven parks. Jumbo, jumbo, premium. Go booster pack, go booster pack. Mini customization. Loan player, pre order. So, we got pre order ambassador pack. Um, in Holland for 10. Um, I'm going to go with Van Dyke on that one. Hopefully, I get Vinny again. I got Sam Kerr. Mm, obviously, I got Sam Kerr. I should have gone with Vinny, really. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Right there. Sam Kerr. So, I got 11 on her now. Um, so, yeah, this is for the. I'm going to save them for 6 o'clock. Guitarist, you know what that means. Coin, guitar, Florian. I'm not gonna use that. Not gonna use that. Um, cologne, not gonna use that. Multi ninja. Yeah. But this year, uh, anything I know, I'm not gonna use. I won't keep. I'll just discard it. And um, browse promo packs. So they've got two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Uh, mixed items, rares. No chance I'm buying that. No chance. Not spending any money on it. Um, I bought what? I bought five thousand points, but nothing. Uh, I got five thousand points over the ten hour period. Got absolutely escrow road over. <laughs> so I ain't putting nothing in there. Can't afford them. Um, can't afford them. Um, what is this? Yeah, yeah, upgrade. So, how long is left? One hour, 40 minutes. I'll do that in a minute. Um, can't afford that. I don't think that's an 83. So, all that before. Marquee matchups new. I've got 24 days on him. 25 days on him. Might do this guy. Hopefully, he's cheap. 84, 86. Can't afford him. Goodness, Lego. 83. I probably could do this guy. Mm -hmm. I like that card design. That card design is mad, isn't it? Um, so if I go that way, um, I haven't got any players in my squad that is of any use. Um, any use. Quick sell no. 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 Uh, I can quick sell him. Quick sell. Uh, Medina. Mm, at some point, they're going to ask me for these cards. But for now, I need the coins. Need the coins. Um, Lanzini. 
And uh, yeah, Lanzini was one of the first guys I got when I first started playing on Ticket Team in 2017. So, Bundesliga won 85 higher, won team overall rated minimum 83. Um, I haven't got anything in the club. So, unless I'm going to use Kante, um, Kante, yeah, so these are the highest rated players I've got so far. So, an 83, and that's a go with him. Um, go with Kante, Costa, Bentaco, uh, Bentaco, Sagar, Lin, Jaka, um, Griffo. I'd have to go with her as well. You. Um, team overall rating. Okay, you know that Anthony and Fernando have a combination here before it was Alright, so I'm only at 82, I can't do that, so that's a way to open them packs. I've got. In moments, I've got. Where's the moments? Though? I've got 69 for moments. I'm going to get that rare player spark, hopefully. I've got one of them promo cards. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Let's see if I can collect some of them loan players from the icon stuff. Um, rivals. Yeah. Yo, yeah, them just rubbed me in. Why well, she never got to 11 a while ago? Oh no, she only had one. So, them boys, man, who you them, I uh, swear. Them boys, they're for the chumps. Alright, so. He is better, he is actually better than Kante in my opinion. Faster than Kante, one less passing, two less shooting, four less dribbling. Rather physical over the defense as a shoot the two. Mm, yeah, I think the physical is better than the defense as well. Yeah, can him play for, no, it doesn't have Foster, Foster. There's another girl who had some. Keen as well. 
So yeah, you're absolutely right in that regard, but also so she smell she smell four star five star against the social already. I hope I get lucky at my RTG this year. Right, so look at my players. They won't come to me. Yeah. So I'm trying to go down the line. Through the centre. Back wide. Left. Right, fair enough. Alright, come on. Let's see what happens here. Uh, okay. So I'm, ch I'm chasing down. You know, this is a uh, got close control, but it's not that fast. He's gonna turn back. He's gonna turn back. He's gonna put. Yeah, good pass. Ball roll. Watch it. Wait for him. Call him shot. Back to him on the, on the left back. Turning now. Down the line. I'm going for the girl in the middle. Valhovic through the center. Over his head. Ah, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. So, trying to block him in from turning in. Right. Hold him back with the defender. Hold him back with the defender. Outpace him. He took him back. For some reason the ball came back to him. Keeper is moving mad already and the game's not even started. <laughs> So I'm gonna go down the right this time. Over the top. Do I get it? Do you get it? Alright, come back, come back, come back. Alright, for some reason we play it. No, yeah, I didn't just win the ball. Is he going for a shot? Is he turning back? Alright, watch him, watch him, watch him. Through the middle. Out wide, ball roll in the center, turn him back, go wide, turn him back, shoot the middle, shoot the middle, Marshall, uh, Marshall is a bit slow to be fair, he is a bit slow, so I need him to come back, my ball, Gaia, Marshall, hold the ball, hold the ball, referee red card, Hold the ball. Don't lose it. Okay. Turn him back. Drive him out. Drive him. Drag him for the boy. Back to the left. For some reason, the long pass is a bit messy. I put that down to his weak foot. So then step back with Gwen Doozy. Step back with Gwen Doozy. Step back with Gwen Now. So now you got the centre for some reason. Keeper saves it. So for some reason, I can't get my player to go to the, the man at the ball. Like it feels like there's a wall in front of the player. Push it across, push it across. Not yet. One more. I feel like there's some form of wall through the centre. I feel like there's some form of wall. Like when I'm trying to tackle a player, a player won't go near to him, won't, I can't collide with him, I can't slide tackle him. Um, I feel like there's a wall there, like you can notice it when he's twisting and turning, I can't make contact with him or even the ball. Ball rolling the centre, through the middle, 
Marshall and trying to go left, left, left. So, back to the center. Go there. Call Marshall. Call Marshall. I'm trying to call Marshall. Will he come to me? No. He won't come to me. I try to give that ball to Marshall. Like I said, there's some form of magnetized problem where my players are magnetized to a specific direction. It feels like they're locked into a certain direction. So I'm trying to go wide. Back to the center back. Push it wide again. All right. Ball there. I haven't got any skillers there, so I'm having to use basic dribbling. I'm basically having to use basic dribbling, simple ball rolls, and left stick dribbling. But none of my players really have skills, otherwise, in the midfielder. I don't really want to be in the midfield skilling too much. So I'm trying to get down the line. Yeah. Ball roll away, center. So that's what I mean. There is some form of magnetism. So when I'm in the attacking role and my players is sucked to the, the defender, it won't allow me to turn away from the defender any at all. Um, yeah. It won't allow me to turn away from the defender, especially in ball control situation. It simply won't allow me to turn away from it. When I'm in the defensive position, when I'm trying to win the ball, it basically pushes me away from it. I don't know why. It's been like this for years. It's because whoever is hacking the game is making it more difficult for me. So, watch. I'm going to try and make a, a true pass again. I'm going to try and make a true pass again and show you that basically what's going to happen there is it's going to pull me to. So, obviously, if the person is on his left, I'm obviously pressing right. It's going to pull me to the person on the, on the left rather than pull me away to the right. <clears throat> whenever I've got the ball, whenever they have the ball and I'm trying to tackle them, um, I can't get close to the ball. It, it's basically pushing me away, pushing me around in a circle. So if you imagine you're in like a, you're on a circle and there's a wall between like a steel ball around a NASCAR ring, yeah? So imagine you're like a NASCAR, NASCAR driver. That's what it feels like on the controller. Like I'm going around the opponent rather than getting to him to get the ball. Yeah, so I can't get to him to get the ball. I feel like I'm going around him in circles. So he's going down, he's going down, he's going down, he's going down. Am I taking him out? No, I'm not taking him out. I'm not taking him out. Through the center. Hopefully he turns in. Back to Marshall. Ah, uh, I'm just off there. I need to fix my settings. There we go. I need to say, I'm going to fix my settings now. So, they put instant replay in there now during the match, which is brilliant. This was my idea EA stole from me. Yeah? So, obviously, they get fucked now because now I can talk about these things. I record it so when they steal my idea, they get caught, innit? <laughs> so, competitive, shooting, shooting, time finish. I don't, know, I don't use time finishing. Shot assistant, assistant. I don't use time finishing. I don't use nothing like that. Um, I don't really see what it does. I don't really know what time finishing does because it doesn't really make sense to me. You know, like the keeper still saves it anyway. But the game saves it regardless. He's going through the middle. He's going through the middle. He's going through the middle. Pushing it out to the wide. Like I said, I don't have much skillers on the team. Down to the centre. Ball rolling away, one be soccer down the line. Back to uh, see what I mean. I just feel like the ball is constantly being dragged to the opponent rather than finding the obvious space between them. 
So he's going back for the pass. He's going back for the pass. Uh, he scored. As you can see, my screen shaking for some reason. I don't know if that's a new thing. I don't know if that's in the game. But obviously, it's disorientating. It? So why would EA do that? I don't really understand. So I'm coming back for him. So I'm obviously going to make a change. Look. So what's this? I need to go game settings. See what's there. Um, game settings. So trooper, semi, ground pass assisted, cross assisted, love assisted, pass, receiver, power up, late, animation, start, go that, precision, normal, clearance, classic direction, classic jockey, advanced tactical defending, I don't know what advanced is, pass block on, switching, yeah, um, right stick, classic, player relative, and uh, Let's see if it makes a difference to how it plays. I've been playing it on advance, it don't really bother me, but let's see what if there's much of a difference there, isn't it? Um, I've, I've been playing with it on advance, defending advance, all that. But it doesn't really affect me, I don't think. But let's see if it does actually. Well, it? it does feel freer, to be honest. Like, I can, yeah, it feels a lot more free, you know. So I'm trying to get him away from me. I'm trying to go down the line. Back to Gwendouzi. Back to him. Gwendouzi. Yeah, there you go. Like the ball is constantly going to him. Look, and now he just gets the space. So I think they've done that on purpose. They've done that on purpose to... Yeah, that's what I mean. The ball is dragged to him. The ball is constantly going back to them no matter what. When I try and, when I pass the ball, the ball doesn't go through the middle to, the, to my player. The ball goes closer to the opponent which allows the opponent to win the ball easy. Situations like that, the ball is magnetised back to the opponent. But oh, this guy's not winning anyway. No, he's shitting. So I'm going to ball roll away. Turn him. Back to one Bissaka. Back to him there. Through the centre. So I mean, the ball is constant. You could clearly see the space that she was running to. You can clearly see the place she was running to, where you can notice where the ball went. Well, watch this. You see what I mean? The ball is constantly going closer to the opponent than where my player is. Constantly going closer to the opponent. Yeah, it's constantly going closer to the opponent rather than where I actually place the ball because it's all assisted anyway. So as long as you put it in the general relative direction, it should go to the, the to your little teammate rather than going all the time towards the the enemy. Isn't it? So see, watch this, watch this now. So I'm gonna ball rolling, check him back. Centre, middle. Look, no, you see what I mean? Like, there's something about my direction that they've done. It, it constantly goes. The same thing, shooting, tackling, passing. It's all affected by the mechanic, whatever they've done. It's all affected. It's the same mechanic that's causing the ball to go closer to the opponent, causing me to miss open chances, causing me to pass the ball to the opponent rather than, obviously, to my teammate. But they don't have that. Their passes are so precise. Obviously, this guy's not very good, is he? So, he basically fouled me, got away with it. No foul, no nothing. He tackled me from behind, and he's away with one move. So, he tackled me from behind, no foul. Look, 
One one move, tackle me from there. No far. Look, it's not me. There's no reason for the ball to look. There's no reason for the ball not to come to me there. I'm clearly in a position in the space. Look, ball goes back to him again. Ball back goes back to him again. Yeah, look, back to him. Ball goes back. Look, it's too easy for Way too easy for him. He, he can't win. He can't win. So you can see, every time I pass the ball there, it went to him. I've got three, four players around him, and the ball precisely went to his belly now by bypassing three of my players and going straight to him without any problem. And that's what they've done to stop me from getting into competitions and competing. So basically, I'm handicapped to them. So I'm barely rolling away from him. But through centre, look, Marshall run past the ball for no reason. Now, once during the game, have you seen his player run away from the ball, run past the ball, move anywhere? Look, simpler to him. My defenders all open up. The defenders stop running, allows his player to run in behind. Yeah. No, is that a foul? So, look, one run, one simple run gets him through the whole team. One run, one pass, one run, through, straight through the team. One pass, one run, that's it, straight through the team. You could clearly see Gwenduzi was knocked on the floor. Not one point during the whole game have you seen me make contact with his player and knock him off balance and the game kept on. Not one point you have seen me make contact with him. If you know it's not one point I do I tackle and get close enough to get the ball off him. So I'm turning away from him. Look, the ball goes to him. So they're not going to let anyone see these videos. Nobody will be watching these videos. Only the military men who are doing it and behind this. Um, yeah. They're the only one that's going to watch it. Regular people won't see the video and won't be allowed to see the video because obviously it would expose what they're doing. Isn't it? Look what I mean. All right, how 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 did this guy beat me? Yeah. Man. I mean, look at that. How did that guy beat me? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, what you notice with Gwen Duzi, what you're going to notice over the whole period of the year, you'll find me be knocked off the ball all the time. You'll never see the opponent once being knocked off the ball, off balance, and the game just carries on. And while that, while after the collision happens, you won't see my strikers and players running into the space that's just opened up. What you're going to notice is my midfielders always stop. They stop still during the game, allow his midfielder to advance behind me. Then they start chasing them down rather than running back with them prior. Then allow my left back or my right back disables, stand still, allow them to get in behind. And then my players start running after trying to catch up. And if you watch the game, you watch it slowly, you'll realise that's what's going on. It has nothing to do with tactics, because when you keep your stuff on balance, when you keep your stuff on balance, um, it decides when it does it. So there's a reason why I've left it on balance, is for to show what the AI is programmed to do itself. Yeah, The AI is programmed to sometimes be aggressive, sometimes drop back, because all of, that's what balance is, it's like a default setting where the AI decides what's best to do in the situation. So if there's space, in, instead of putting it on get forward, instead of putting it on get forward, yeah, what you do is leave it on balance. And what that does is allow the AI to run in behind when there's space. When there's no space, it plays. Um, what you call it? When there's no space, it plays direct passing. Okay, that's why I use balance. I don't know why anybody else follows or does it, but that's why I does it.
is because instead of giving it one basic instruction to either play direct passing or run forward, keep it on balance, it, the AI picks the best um, engine for the, the situation. Yeah, Because the game itself is not really played by the human player. Yeah, the game is also played every other game in the world. Yeah, I've said games where you have more than one individual. So, fighting games, car games is all relative to skill. Yeah, all relative to skill. But sports games, NFL, basketball, anything where you have a team, um, a team chemistry or whatever. Yeah, it's the AI that does everything. You score 100 goals. If the AI decides you're going to score 100 goals, you score no goals at all. If the AI decides so, so this is the problem why I see in the game where I find my game highly strange. In it, I shouldn't have to put it on get forward all the time. But what you know is it's on balance. I keep all of them on balance. Um, let me see how do you get it now. So why search? I think it's that one. Custom tactics. You see, I keep everything on balance. Yeah, the AI never chooses to push forward. That's why it's there. It's meant to be on balance. Balance is push forward or direct passing. It mainly chooses direct passing. Why is it always choosing direct passing? I don't know. Because if if it's on direct passing all the time, the if it's on direct passing all the time, the AI, the opponent's defensive AI gets back into position more often than not. Yeah, you don't really get counter-attacks from direct passing. Yeah, from get behind, get in behind, you get more counter-attacks, but it leaves you vulnerable in the midfield. So that's why I think, for me, it's better to keep it on balance because the AI should decide, all right, there's a counter-attacking op opportunity. Switch it to get forward. When there's no opportunity, keep it on direct passing. The defense works the same way. So the AI should decide, oh shit, he's made a bad touch, press him yeah, by itself. Oh, um, I've lost the ball now. Am I close enough to mark all these players? Well, right, okay, it's best to press him all over the pitch now. And then there's times when he's, near, he's too close. Like say, there's times when he's in around your 18 yard box. The AI should be helping to constantly pressure him. Yeah, but obviously, I don't know if it's EA that's done it like that to, I guess, minimize the effect of the balance thing, where basically, because you've got it on balance, it basically does nothing. I don't know if that's what they've done, but obviously, the default settings would incorporate all the settings available. You get me? That's really how I see it. Is it wrong? Is it right? I have no idea. But the default settings should really incorporate all the, all the, all the settings available to you rather than just one. So you see, you can go to possession, yeah. Your players should sometimes, if you notice, my players won't come to me. So I'm going to play on possession and I'll show you now. Possession football is when you play a little triangle. So your players are always trying to get in space to get closer to the ball. So now I'm going to play on possession and show you that the players won't come to me for some reason. There's no settings I can use. I'm using 4-4-2. It's the most balanced formation you have. Yeah, The striker and the wingers work together. The wingers and the centre mids work together. All of that together, yeah? It's the most balanced formation you can use. Yeah? So when you actually play a game, I realise that there's always these gaps where my play is completely isolated. Instead of me isolating the defender, my player with the receiving the ball is isolated. Among six, seven, eight, nine defenders, it's not meant to be that. It's meant to be the other way around, where I'm isolating a defender, not my player with the ball being isolated, where I'm constantly having to turn back, which allows them to come and pressure back at the back line, come and or get back in a, a, a formation. End up always end up back in the formation. Just watch this. So I'm on balance, right? Look, look at my players. Look at the the black girl in the middle. Look, look at the black girl in the middle. She won't, she won't help me out. 
she won't try and put any pressure on me. I'm trying to head it away. Right, right, watch this now. So I'm on I'm on position, yeah? Right, look at it. I'm on position, so now he's in the space. None of my players will come towards me. None of them will come and help me to create a triangle, create a passing lane, nothing. Look, they're still staying wide. Still staying wide. Still staying wide. It's my players that get isolated rather than... Right now, so look, my players isolated again. I've got a turn back, which allows his whole team to get back in position. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. The start, the start, the... The tactics that they have in the game, they basically nerfed them for me. Right, they, my, my gameplay is completely nerfed. Hey, my gameplay, I'm on position, yeah? And everyone knows what position football is. Your players are moving, getting close to you, running off, creating gaps, creating one-twos, creating wall passes. Creating passes through the centre. Look, they won't. They run away. They run away. They always do it. They always do it. Man. I'm on. I'm on position. Why isn't my um, left midfielder coming close? Like I say, my player gets isolated and it turns into a one attack. As you can see, the little circle around there. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go play more at home after six o'clock, and then I'm going to. I'm gonna report. I'm gonna phone the consumer, whatever they call them guys, you know. Um, the consumer guys, you know. Yeah, because this has been done on purpose. Look, my players are completely isolated. I'm on, I'm on possession. And my players are all backing away from me rather than coming forward to me. Look at his players. His players come towards him. Yeah. It has nothing to do with lag. Lag does not have anything to do with the AI built-in mechanics. Lag has nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Look, it won't come to me. It just will not come to me. I have to manually press RB. Yeah, I, I get no help from the AI. I've got to manually do everything. Look at his player coming towards him. As you can see, the difference is he can only trigger off one player at a time. But both of his players were coming to him. Because obviously it makes sense, in it? Like, otherwise you're going to isolate the player out there by himself. Obviously, these, these players are not better than me in any way, shape or form. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at it. Vahovic, now when he's meant to run away from me into the space, he ran behind me. Like, he's doing the opposite, complete opposite of what they do. Look, one pass, he wins the ball, one pass, down the wing, made his life so easy. They're not doing anything. They, people play me have the easiest games in the world. Easiest, two e easiest games in the world. So I watch this now. So I'm, bring, I'm calling him, calling him, calling him, calling him. Look, the only place I could go back, the only place I could go is backwards. I couldn't go forward because his three players run to me at once. Yeah, he can only second man press with one player. Why is there three players running to me? Why is his midfielder chasing down my... Yeah, why is his midfielder chasing down my AI players? Look, every time I get the ball, he's there. It has nothing to do with him pressing. Look, bounces off me, back to him. Bounces off me, back to him. Look, he has no reason for a third AI from him decide to chase my player down and pretty much mark every single person in front of me. They pretty much mark everybody in front of me there. Okay, so I watch this now. Okay, so playing the ball back, pushing it wide. Okay, obviously I'm going to have options there because I'm basically on my six yard box. Yeah, so I'm going wide to, I can't remember what he's called, Kalashin, look at um, Look at them. They won't come and press it be. Pressing B, the AI has to run away from me first, yeah? Allow the, allow the individual to get back into the space, then it decides to come towards me, yeah? Misplaced pass, it has nothing to do with lag. They are trying to convince me that this is lag, it's no lag. No lag at all. So watch this now. 
Right, what I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get him to go behind. He won't go behind. No, it's the two players. None of them tried to run into the midfield. The furthest player from me was Vlahovic. Vlahovic was the one who ran, ran, and then the game tried to force the ball to Vlahovic. When there are two players in front of me. Oh. These guys must have the easiest time in the world playing against me because they get no pressure. Look. The whole game, I cannot get close enough. I cannot get close enough to tackle him for some reason. I simply can't get close enough. No matter what I do, my players will not make contact with the person on the ball. But notice, every time I have the ball, they make contact with me. They're right on me to get the ball off me. But whenever, whenever I'm trying to tackle, for some reason, you would get the ball off them at some point. Like, at one point, you're going to get the ball off somebody. Look, he made contact there, yeah? Made contact there. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get close to him. No, I've got to depend on him making silly mistakes. That's it. I've got to depend on the player misplaced in the past. That's what I've got to depend on because I cannot get the ball off them. Look, I want the ball there. Look at the ball behaving now. Yeah, what the ball comes right there. So it's on position. Look at them. Look at the. Look at the strikers. None of the strikers will come back. None of the strikers will come back. Yeah. You're on possession. What am I going to do? Go back to my defender all the time. Yeah. That is what they want. That's how they set the game. The only place I can find space is going backwards. Football is about scoring. You can't win if you're not scoring. And if I'm going back all the time, I can't score. And if I go back all the time, the place is the player is only going to come and close the space up. When there's space in behind. My players won't just dart into the space. I can't use get forward because, as you can see, I struggle to get close to the player with the ball. It has nothing to do with the game. The game has to be programmed in a way. The game has to be programmed in a way where it allows you to... Yeah, the game has to be programmed in a way where it allows you to physically tackle the person. The game actually has to be programmed in some sort of way where you can physically talk to the person. If you look at the if you look at the advert for the game, you see them making slide tackles, interceptions, they do they're heading the ball away, they're tussling 50-50. But you won't find any of them things in my game. You won't see any of my players coming out winning the ball. The opponent's team you'll see all the time. Uh, watch this there. Look at my players. I'm on possession. Yeah, I was on balance before. I was on possession. You're still finding the same weird behavior from the players. You will still find the same exact movement pattern. It had no effect on the game itself. Yeah, my wingers, my wingers, my wide players constantly. My wingers, wide players constantly isolated by themselves. I've got the right back to deal with and the centre back that's covering it. Yeah, my striker. Runs in between the two centre backs rather than between the wing back and the centre back, which obviously makes sense because that's where I'm at. He need he's meant to run through and give me the closest way to get the ball. Look, as soon as they get the ball, they're able to go forward and push through. As soon as they're nothing, look, I can't get the ball off him. I just can't get the ball. I can't get the ball. Nothing I can do to get that ball there. It cannot be a skill. It cannot be a skill issue. The game is physically not allowing me to do these things. Look, immediately turns it into an attack. Missed the tackle. Immediately turns it into an attack. Where's the ball? No, if the ball is not on the pitch for a second. Yeah, can't, I couldn't see the ball. If you would, if you pause that game and break it down, you'd realise I have no visible sight on that ball. No visible sight on it. So I'm going down. Look, look at Van Hovage. He's trying to run in the same space. He's not moving. Trying to ball away, ball away from Van Dyke, turning him back. This is it. I've got to turn back. There's no way I can get through that crowd of people. So I'm going to go there. Obviously, I'm going to turn him back, step over. So that's what I mean. Look at the position of my player. My player doesn't run and stand up in the space like their players do. Their players, they're just going to stand up on their pen spot in open space, easy pass on to him, and he shoots. My player stands up where everyone else is. 
My player stands up with everyone else here and allow the defenders to come and swarm him in the position where there's no way to get the ball out from get the ball to. Absolutely not. And look what he's gonna do now. He's obviously not good. He realizes he knows he's not good. And he obviously knows that well something's not quite right there, isn't it? Well obviously who's gonna complain if you get to win, isn't it? Nobody's gonna complain. Look, so you can see he isolates my left back, my right back, isolates my centre back, isolates my centre back, simple goal. My players are constantly isolated, constantly isolated. I never get to team or double team anyone. So watch this guy. Look at the player. No, it's to the right there. Um, whatever that Spanish guy is called. Guess what? He's out there by himself. I've got to make a quick pass through the centre. Yeah, because I'm not a fool. I obviously know how to play football. Call him short, give it there. Nobody else was there. I'd have to go for a long shot. Yeah, four, four tries to pass, but well, just shoot, mainly to show the example. So holding the ball up through the centre. Guess what? Three men are around me. Can't get the ball through. Look, immediately transfers into an attack where he's got all that space to run into. Guess what? I've got to run very far, which he's going to have the advantage. Bounces off me, back to him. Simple as that. So where is the crowd? Where is the crowd that's been to be around him? That is around me. Where is it? Look, some reason the pass went like that. Where is the crowd that's meant to be around him? Eh? As you can see, the game, so it's now... 52 minutes, 16 seconds. As you can see, the game just decides to shut himself up. Yeah. So the people who are hacking my devices, basically, they can just close it. Like I say, run somewhere, works like that. Run somewhere and just lock your computer, close the any program it wants, put a password padlock in your program. That's how ransomware works. So you can either shut down your whole computer, or if you're obviously a person, say like, an architect, graphic designer, you know, you use like whatever programs, they can just lock your, pass your, your program, you can't get access to it. You either pay them for it or go and buy a new one, isn't it? That's what they basically do. They've somehow got access to my Xbox and my internet and be able to do it. So when they don't close the application, they, they shut the internet service off. They, it's always something, isn't it? One minute they close the application, one minute it's called a DDoS attack, where they basically um, send so much traffic towards my internet. No, disconnected. They send so much traffic towards my internet, which basically obviously kicks me offline. Then then they, what they do, they can turn down my, my internet in volume. So obviously there's there's options. There's options on on like your no all internet your mobile phone blah 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 we can turn the usage down yeah when you turn the usage down what well, it obviously makes your your phone behave different in it so they can do that even with the wi-fi they can turn the usage down obviously that's making everything that's making the internet move slower you need a, you need what 15 16 pings to work with the to work with the to work for the game to be balanced and fair, all they're doing is they're turning it down, they're turning down the usage level and the amount of um, net. They turn it down, it looks like, oh, I've got bad connection. They think they're so smart. I know exactly what they do. I know exactly how it works. Too. They're not clever than me. The game literally has that option. Um, it literally has an option. Yeah, look. All of a sudden, my internet is playing up. It literally has an option where you can do that, where it's doing that now. So I've got to go into this. Press this. Right, okay. So, sorry, this game can't play from internal storage. I don't know why the game's all of a sudden fucking doing that. Like, I don't know why. So, I'm going to go on the settings. Network. Mm, not that open. Wired. IP44. I don't know what that is. That's open. Um, bandwidth usage. Let me go on that. Uh, reset period on this day. Seven, well, five to six. Whatever the fuck that means. 
um, 37.61 gigabytes. As you can see, current usage is going from megabits to kilobits. Uh, kilobits, megabits. It's just jumping all over the place it's because they have turned the usage down. Obviously, so if you if you are like the reason and the purpose is that if you have a pay to go phone, you put twenty pound on there, you can turn down what the internet, the usage of the internet, so it just doesn't drain your twenty pound away in fucking internet usage, isn't it? So test connection. Uh, it's there, yeah. There's no reason, absolutely no reason for it to be doing that. No, not at all. I'll show all of it because it doesn't matter. They've already have to anyway. You get me? You know? I'll show it all. You know? I'll show it all. Testing my setup. Right? Let's see what's going on. Here. So upstream bandwidth less than nine megabytes per second. Your network might be too slow for high quality playing outside your home. So outside my home, I'm on a wired connection. Yeah, um, I don't understand why is it giving problems. Network wired, network latency less than sixty ms per second. Outbound port open, not open. For some reason, the upstream bandwidth, I don't know what that fucking means, but there's some problem there, you get me, in it? Um, I haven't got anything uploading, I'm trying to find anything being uploading, so my installation of Mortal Kombat is stopped. So what's the real issue why all of a sudden it's giving problems? So I'm gonna turn off the, I'm gonna turn off the internet on the laptop, um, turn the internet off on the laptop. There you go. So disconnect. Okay, so there you go. It's back on. We'll turn it back on now. Yeah, so this is it, isn't it? Plus net, any internet is basic, yeah? So you can see it says 16 ms. That is more. You're not going to get much. You're never going to see... 1 ms, you're never going to see 5 ms, you're never going to see 6 or 7 ms. The least you're going to see M M ms is 10 because it's got to connect to each other, so which is obviously going to slow it down. You're never going to get better, much better than 10. Never going to get much better than 10. Dude. So these group of guys, yo, they're going to get what they're looking for, you get me? They, you know, they're acting like they're sick, you get me? But they're cowards, they're, they're computer bad boys, literally, you get me, innit? I've never seen a more literal statement than a computer bad boy than these guys. So I'm turning him away, turning him away. It won't allow me to turn. As you can see, he doesn't have the, the issue of not being able to move. Look, can't turn. Two things happened there where my player literally did not respond. Literally. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get record what happened for this for this start again. Then you can capture game clips. He's saying I'm not playing the game. Like what is that about? So he's saying I'm not playing the game. Start capture. He's saying I'm not playing the game. I'm not recording anything. I don't understand what's going on there. I don't. I really don't get what's going on there. So let me see if it's start. Let's let's quit out of that. Yeah, quit out of that. Okay. So record what's happening. Look, for the first for this for this, start a game, then you can then you can capture game clips. And I'm literally in a game. I'm literally in a game. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in a game and the game is not allowing me to record what's going on in the screen. So you can see there's nothing, there's no reason it's in a game. I obviously it's online. I don't know why, I don't know why what's I don't know what's going on there, innit? So I'm gonna have to quit the game. Oh, shit. 
So I'm starting the game now. Record what happened. So it's just come back. Why was it not working? So you already lost. Like, you know, I'm getting on to the consumer people. You get me? I will attack you, blood. I will find some way to get you. I don't I know you're there. I'm proving that you're there. And it, it can't be the Xbox. I can't be this unlucky in life. I just can't be. It's a conspiracy against me. You can say there's nothing I can do because you're hiding. You are I can't do nothing and you have to hide. I say that's fair enough, isn't it? Play with me and I don't like it. Isn't it? No matter what, you still can't win that argument. I couldn't have played with you if you were never there fucking around anyway. So either way, I lose that blood. You ain't friend him, know that. That's what I'm hiding. Why, why is there every silence now? There's a reason why there's so much silence and less activity. Over the last two months, the activity has completely evaporated. You couldn't sit down yesterday and see 10, 15 million people I walk past. I do something. I say something. I laugh. I shake key. I do something. All of a sudden, disappear. Because no one can. They don't live on the estate. They would have to act. They would have to say what the fuck they were doing there. Anyway. You don't think me or another? On these occasions is Stuart Robson, and what we have on the menu is that you, you, you wouldn't let me see because you're scared, you might just might realize you're you. Yeah. Right well, I can tell you that played me. Yeah. Nah, I like it, look. Trust me, you're not really won't like it. I mean, I got to consumer people, yeah. and even if it is all on paper, I'm still a come for you and find a way to get to you. Promise you. Still, I'll try to find a way to get to you. You cannot get away with this. Anybody the government identifies the people who are there, just me a life you are looking for. Nothing. 
Nikki, if you go to prison, you really have to go to prison and you're looking at life. Bro. Consider yourself say, in a prison. All right, him, him means in a prison, though, like you want to kill him. Life, you look for him. No release, dude. Promise you that. No, no release there for you, pussy. So as you can see, try to spray the ball across the marshal. Try to put a bit of pace on it. And it completely overshot the ball for some reason. So the ball went through my legs there. Ball bounces off me, back to him. You will realize that's a constant T. You will realize that that's a constant T over the FIFA 24 cycle. It constantly bounces. As soon as I get anywhere near my, near my pen spot, the ball bounces around in their favor. So Vlahovic got the pace overhead. He's only running out of his box there for one simple reason just to allow him to score. Because he's a super. This is a group of people in the England. Yeah? A group of people in England. I had to turn off crossplay from the Xbox system itself because the Xbox system itself can turn the crossplay off, yeah? Because what was happening to me like FIFA 22 when I first came out with it, I would have the settings off and it would basically somehow turn itself on, yeah? Even when it's off. But obviously Xbox, me, me, I'm put basically from the system itself, the system itself can turn it off from outside of the game, you get me, you know? So the game's got its independent crossplay settings, but you can turn it off from the Xbox itself before you even get one into the game. I didn't know that, I only figured that out today, that it literally could stop you from playing crossplay. Okay, I know exactly what I'm saying at home, but I know exactly how the game works. I play football in real life. I know exactly how football works. I try to put a bit of pace on the pass, yeah, on the cross, and it just fired it outside of the muscle. It doesn't make sense. It's a fist So as long as you don't pull the meter, it's just going to hit the cross hard into the muscle. That's what it's meant to do. It's completely kicked the ball out of the box to some random point to the opponent for no reason. Straight to the opponent. So this guy and his group of friends, obviously these are his little kids and obviously you've got people in their 20s that play and that. So obviously whoever the military, he's got his cadets and even his own soldiers fucking play the game and get me in. So it's them that I'm playing and obviously their job, I guess, is to fuck with my life, innit? They can't admit that job in the courtroom, which is the best part of it all. They simply can't admit that they do this job, and this is what their job is centered and focused around. So they're screwed, they know they're screwed, there's no way to get around it. They fucking know they're screwed, they get me. Bro, I just can't get close to them, I can't. It has nothing to do, I cannot put pressure, I just cannot put pressure on the player. And go up, mad to him, mad to him, so simple. I just cannot put pressure on the player, no matter what I do, you know. I just cannot put pressure on the player, I simply can't. You know what, I've played three games, and you haven't seen me one, one tackle. It's impossible, bro. I've seen fucking, I've seen, you watch FA Cup games. Where fucking Man City plays smaller teams, and even smaller teams win the ball at like some point. The tackle and win the ball. Right? You notice it, yeah? Look, I can't get away from him. I turned away. He's behind me. I turned. He was running in the opposite direction. I turned before I could turn to get the ball. Like I turned. He was back. He was back in front of me, winning the ball. After. Literally, it's because they've done something to the close control as well. Right, they've done something to the close control. So when I try, if I turn with the with the run button, it basically disconnects from it. The player judges, I 
a shot is. So instead of just putting his leg out and getting the ball, bro. Instead of just putting his leg out and getting the ball, bro. He basically cuffles his feet. He won't touch the ball or nothing. He cuffles his feet and won't connect back with the ball. If he's not connected to the ball, he won't allow me to move. Because if I can move, obviously I'm going to run back for the ball. So obviously, it happens in a split second, micro second. But if you stop, if you pause the game and record the game, you can go back and realize the mess what's going on. His foot shuffling instead of moving on the pitch. So basically, I'm just pressing the control and no movement coming. It's registered on the on screen analog, both the local and internet one. It's registered there, but no movement is on the screen. There's no movement on the screen and that. Look, because I'm saying this and it's recorded, they're now messing with the internet to make it look like it's lag. You know they can never win because lag don't work like that. Lag would, lag would make your input slow. That's what lag would do. It wouldn't register your lag anyway. It wouldn't register the input at all. They know they can't, they know they can't come and let the, let the internet not register. Because it would seem to me the internet company would be at fault and they, they're not giving me the, the, the internet service to guarantee. So they know they can't make it look like that. They only can say, but well, there's no paperwork to say it's not. There's no paperwork to say, oh, I'm still look, look, I cannot get the ball away from you. As long as they're getting the bus, as long as they're getting that bus, the ball is bouncing around, bouncing. Game after game after game. Game after game, as long as they're near to my pen spot, the ball is bouncing up there. Look, I can't turn, look. You know, you don't need to press RB to turn, yeah? It's a simple, there you go, it's a simple mechanic. Look, as soon as he gets close to me, look at this. I'm just going around in circles. It just won't go in circles. It won't go in circles. All I want to do is go in circles. All I want to do is to spin around in a fucking circle and the game's not going around in a circle. Look at my controller. I just want to go around in circles. Look at it. I just want to go around in circles. <laughs> look, it just won't go. I'm just, hold on, I'm just going around the controller. Look at, it. look at him. Why is he not just going around in circles? Yeah? You can see the controller is going around in circles. Why is the player on the fucking pitch not just going around in circles? You get me? Why is he not just going around in circles? <laughs> why is he not just going around in circles? Look, why is he not just going around? I can't get close to the ball. Back to him. Yeah? Can't get close to him. Back to him. Somehow the ball going through. Simple pass. And watch the replay at the end of the game. Look how where the ball is. The ball went through fucking football. Look, I can't go around in circles. I'm just, go I'm just going around in circles. Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at the arrow around me. Look at the arrow around me. Look at the arrow around me. The arrow is going in circles, and the player will not go do circles. <laughs> Obviously, they put dead zones on my controller. It's blatant as fuck. There is dead zones on the controller where some input direction does not register. Plain and simple. Some of my input directions are registering. So you can imagine playing the game. You're trying to dribble past the players, dribble past the opponent, and there's dead zones in your controller that you don't fucking know about. It's obviously going to stop responding to you, isn't it? <laughs> it's obviously going to start responding to you. You man are dummies, bro. Like, how long do you think? Look, look at the arrow. It won't turn. Look, it won't go in circles. It won't go in circles. It won't. All I'm doing is going in circles. That's all I want to do. It's not doing nothing I'm saying to do. So, majority of the fucking circumference on the game, yeah, is a dead zone where it, the control isn't doing anything. Yeah? Look, just circles, just circles, just circles, just circles, just circles. Look at the behavior. Why is my player not trying to go in circles? You get me, innit? It doesn't make sense. Why is the player not going in circles? Why is the player not going in circles? Look, he will not go in circles, bro. Look at it. <laughs> it never took me five minutes, bro. It didn't take five minutes. Look, he will not go in circles. Look at the game. He just won't go in circles. You're telling me, in a game of football, EA Force has, has built a game that can't go in circles? <laughs> 
<laughs> what if I just wanted to run in circles the whole game? You're literally telling me I can't, I'm not allowed to go in circles? I can say that's what I call my account. Glitch the account. Mm. They're hacking my account. They hacked the game. They made the game excessive and aggressive. I would say oppressive. It's an oppressive game where the slave master just beats on the slave. So the opponent is the slave master. And that's his, his little minions. Yeah, so you can see the men with the fork and that. It's a slave master's game, bro. You get me? <laughs> Literally a slave master's game, bro. So, obviously, I'm going to try and go and speak to EA now. I'm going to try and get onto EA now. And also upload it and show you that basically there's no way of contacting EA. It's not EA that's doing it. The men who are doing it, they've hacked my, my phone as well. Because obviously, they couldn't get away with it if I was complaining to EA. So, they had to hack the phone. There's no choice they had in the matter. Had to hack the phone. Had to mess around with Google. Not either lead me into fake websites or basically give me numbers that don't work or spoof my account, something. Because they couldn't afford to let me speak to fucking EA, you get me? They can't. They can't allow me to speak to EA. Can't allow me to speak to Xbox, yeah? Guess what? I can't find the address for EA Sports or Xbox to send them a letter. So, your option is, you can't speak to them on the phone. Okay. They can mess around on the phone. Okay. Well, you can find the address and write a letter. EA would have to send you an acknowledgement letter. Oh, we have received your complaint and we are now looking to... We have 30 days to fucking respond to you. There's no way. I've been trying for five years to find EA Sports and Xbox's address. Five fucking years, bro. Since 2019. Now, that's four years, isn't it? Yeah, since 2019, I'm trying to find EA's number. Yeah, I've spoken to some people who claim the word EA, but I know if they keep saying, "Oh, it's lag," EA is telling me it's lag that I can't. Why I can't go in circles? EA Sports. <laughs> I can't. I've never spoken to Microsoft Xbox. I simply can't find a number for it. I can't find an address for it. I can't find anything for it. They know they can't win. They simply know they can't win. And that's why the place around my surroundings has gone quiet. Before, it was so much people that doesn't live on this estate that constantly passed my gate all the time. Never seen them before. I've never seen them before. As you can see, if you looked at the right side of that pole, you could see I aimed it at the right. It kicked the ball to the left. As you can see, I aimed it. The circle came up on the right. And obviously, they're not going to want that to be shown. Yeah, so they're going to start disabling that, that mechanic and fuck that mechanic up so it never shows. They can't win. I know exactly what I'm doing in the same pussy. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm saying. So these guys that I'm playing, they aren't actual regular players, normal players. These are men who, when my account is programmed to find. So just like oh you have algorithms, yeah, just like we have algorithms on social media that target certain types of content, yeah, spoofing works the same way, yeah, it targets certain type of players. I don't know how they do that, I don't, I won't pretend to know, but imagine you've got a specific group, yeah, or name or type of account and it just targets these accounts. I only get to play these people because regular people would notice it. I said, well, that's a bit strange why your game play behaving like that. Normal people would acknowledge it. Normal people would notice it. And normal people would feel a little bit guilty about winning. But these men don't have any guilt. Look at what I'm saying here. These men don't have any guilt because it's intentional. You won't be guilty about something you're intentionally doing. You get me? It doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to go into a circle, trying to go into a circle, the game will not. So you see what the purpose of going into a circle was? Them two players are attacking me from two different angles. I needed to go into a circle, just like you do in real football, yeah? Two players around you, you need to be liquid, you need to be free, you need to have every single way of doing so. Look, 
I cannot go into circle. I'm gonna do it slower. I'm gonna do it so slow. Look, it won't go into a circle. It won't go into a circle. It won't. You look, it will not turn into a circle. It means there are dead zones on the controller. So north, east, south, east, yeah, is registered to do nothing. Yeah. So you know when you remap a controller, which basically is what they've done. You know, when you remap a controller, you can make buttons not do anything. Yeah. You can also do that with the analog. You can also do anything. Anything that's electronic can be reprogrammed for purpose. Anything that's electronic can be reprogrammed for purpose. So that's what they've basically done. Look, I'm gonna do it very slow. Hey, look, you just will not go into a circle. Will not go into a circle. You have nothing to do with lag because lag will still let you go into a circle. <laughs> it will just register a lot late, but the player would still go into that circle at some fucking point. Look, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time and do it. I'm gonna take my time and do it. Look, it will not go into a circle. Look, you just won't. You just won't. You just won't. He just won. He just won. Yo, I'm taking my time. It will not go into a circle. So obviously this is the reason why I'm constantly losing the ball. Because what I'm trying to do, the game's just not doing it. Look, I'm just doing it slow. So slow. So slow. He will not go into the circle. He will not make the circle. Look, he's going forward. I'm going in a circle. It's moving forward. Are you saying my controller is broken already? I don't think so. Yeah, this controller is only a week old bit. Yeah, so this is what they all set up for me to get mad, get frustrated, slam my controller in the TV screen, fling the Xbox through the door. That's what they were. That's what the intention behind it is. And I'm telling this guy, yeah, I don't want to say it because I'm putting it on YouTube. Yeah, I don't really. I want to keep this sort of thing separate. I'm just going to keep what I was going to say there. Silent. But look, I'm doing it dead slow, and he will just not go into a circle. No, it's going forward. It's just not going to a circle. So how am I supposed to play a game where I can't go into a circle? Because this means I have no control of what's going on. Look, it will not do it. It will not do it. It will not do it. It's still trying to go forward. It's still trying to go forward. How am I supposed to play a game? How am I supposed to compete fairly? How am I supposed to beat anybody? Well, I can't even know. I don't know when the game is going to decide to allow me to do it or not. Look, it wants me to go forward and run right into play. Yeah? I can't go into a circle. I'm doing it so slow. Look, it will not do the circle. Look, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going around in a circle. I play a thousand games. I'm just going around in a circle the whole time. I say, well, he will have to explain why they do not make these games so we can go in a circle. It just doesn't make sense. Look, I'm going to do it as slow as possible. Slow as possible. Look, he will not go into a circle. As slow as humanly possible. And he will not do the circle. So, why is he not doing the circle? He, yo, because I'm putting on YouTube. That's the only reason I'm not saying anything. Well, why is it not going on a circle? You can say, you can send your message about having a lot to do. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't working hard at nothing. This is the simplest part of the game for me, bro. Yeah? I did the, I did it for three years, said nothing. Now, I'm making sure, recording, why people see me doing these random things. Now, it's not actually frustration is that I'm demonstrating that something's not quite right with the game. So, every year, yeah, he has three, four, five competitions. 50, 250, 300,000, 100,000, 60,000. And basically, you, man, are costing me not to be able to enter that. You, man, owe me millions. And if I can't get it, I'm coming for something else. Isn't it? Yeah? I want you people particularly, bro. I don't want the state. I don't care about the system. Yeah? You particularly. I want it from you, man. You get me? I want it from a group of you, bro. I don't want it from Britain's pocket. I want it out of your man pocket. Because I know you can't afford it. And you know what that means, bro. <laughs> you know what it is, you get me? You simply can't afford that. Because you never sit down and do a job like that if you could afford millions of pounds. You simply wouldn't do that job. So, you gave me a task that was impossible. Life is funny, isn't it? What goes around comes around, isn't it?
Let's play the game, police boy. Isn't it? You and your military friends. Yeah, you thought you were so clever. You had your threat assessment team sat there watching my every move while your little cyber attack unit and psychological unit was in the shadows working away. They all are a part of it. The whole system, every one of you, going to have to put your money together and reimburse me for every competition that for some reason I couldn't get into. And I'm sure EA is not going to take that blame. I'm very sure. Because EA would never want that to be said and done. They is their own fault because everybody, every Tom, Dick, and Harry would crawl out of the woodwork and say they want compensation as well. <laughs> so you failed, you lost, and now you didn't expect this. But guess what? I had it all planned out. I thought everything to a long time. And exactly what I'm doing is saying, yeah. Well, I know it's exactly what I'm doing there. So, tell me when I see you, you know what it is. I don't want this to be on YouTube. I'm only putting these sort of things. What I actually feel I want to say. I hope to you and I want to accomplish as a result. I'm only putting them things on Instagram, yeah? And there's a reason. At the end of the day, you know exactly what I'm inferring and referring. You get me? Play inside of the courtroom. I said, this is what he was saying, this was all premeditated. No actions are more premeditated than mine. Yeah? My action is just word and mouth. You word in action. Yeah? To go into my control and the, the logistics and settings and all of that, you had to premeditate. You couldn't just, you couldn't sleep off into doing all of that. That's all I've got to say, you know. I don't care if you care, I know you lot are scared to fucking get at this point because you can't explain what you were trying to do because it will fuck up everything you got going on around here, but I can tell you that. <laughs> it will screw everything you man have ever done, everything the state has ever done, all of the people inside of jailhouses, mental houses, and those who have committed certain things to themselves. Y'all just, y'all just fuck me and let me go. So I ain't worried about you, man, in the slightest bit. Y'all the ones that are there that's worried, you get me? <laughs> because what are you going to do? Which way are you going to take? You only got one option here, you know? And can you take that risk, you get me, you know? Because you can't say, oh, you were scared for your life. <laughs> yeah. The armed police, the armed police can say it, but you can't say that. If you were scared for your life, you would have not done this. So you were just, oh, you just do it because you didn't want to go to prison. You didn't want to have to fess up and confess. You know what I mean? That's why you did it. You can't use it or you were scared for your life. You didn't want to confess. Because you were scared you'd end up in prisons where you put people behind the bars and they might just might know who you people are. Eh? I never work with you, do Y'all can say you don't care. I know you care, bro. I know you're shitting yourself down closed doors. I know you are desperate beyond belief. I know that. I know the team and group of you are desperate. Those who control and organize it, you lot are going to face the most shit. Because you know the men at the bottom are simply going to say we were just following orders. The decision makers, it's all on their head. They made the decision. And this can't be a legal job that Britain can say, oh, well, we have these type of people that does this. We could never admit that to doing that. Bro. Never. I'm not asking, I'm not guessing. That is fact that like, you could never admit it. And if you can't admit it, you're screwed. <laughs> Anything you do and can't admit it, trust me, it's an offence. You don't have to ask. Simply. Anything you can't ad admit in the court of law and legally, it is an offence. And I feel offended, innit? Trust me, anything you can't admit in the court of law is a fucking offence, bro. So therefore, you knew exactly what you did, were doing. So you won't even get away if you say it was a mistake. You knew exactly what you were supposed to do, bro. Yeah, it's simple as that.
I want all my money back from the whole thing because you can't say I weren't good enough. You don't know that. <laughs> you simply don't know that, blood. Simple as that. And that's how the game works. That's how everything works. You cannot say for definite that he just wasn't good enough anyway. You can't prove that. It must be a nightmare for you that this is going to be recorded alongside the video, you know. It must be a fucking nightmare for you, man, sat there now, bro. Everybody that supports you is now looking at the side of their ass. So it just got real, is it? <laughs> it just got real, bro. I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. I went through a whole year and never said nothing. Yeah? I sat there chatting in my house. Now it's going to be there in real time. Exactly what I'm trying to do and why I'm kicking the ball in my own neck and all of these things. It's not going to be recorded. Now you're going to have the full tape to play in court for yourself. This is the first day of the game. Why am I already having problems with the game? You show that it's not the game. It's you people who are attacking the game. You show that it's nothing to do with EA Sports in particular. But I'm going to go play more or come back in the end as well. And show that, well... Why is my button combinations not working? You know I mean, why is my input not working? You know what I mean, look, as, oh, immediately, yeah, all of his players are in his box. Yeah, what I'm gonna do next, next game, what I'm gonna do is turn my players on low, put my defense on low, put all my players on low, and watch this what happens. Yeah, watch my whole team. Still push inside of his box. Yeah? Still push inside of his box. They won't all run back because they're all instructed to get back. They won't all run back and go back in the in the in the width and depth that you place them at. So if you place them at um, if you place them at low at the lowest depth possible, yeah, the game should automatically bring them back, regardless of the get back or come back on defense. You won't need it. It should go and pop everyone up. Basically in your box, yeah. But notice, look at him in his, look at him, look at all of his players, yeah. So eventually, I'm gonna turn the ball over and just look at all his players just attacks me at once. Look, watch it. Just watch this. All of his players just gonna attack me at once. Easy, one pass up the field. Look at, check this out now, yeah. One pass up the field. Right. So reset it again. Come back. Some reason you can see Marshall. I tried to keep Marshall the ball. The ball won't be go to Marshall. Marshall was in acres of space, but for some reason the ball kept on going to him. Look, he's back on it again. Right, watch this again now. So I'm trying to get Marshall to run. Marshall is too wide. I'm trying to turn back, as you can see, it wouldn't allow me to turn back, even though my control set is pressing backwards. Going to him. I'm trying to go in a circle. I'm trying to go wide, it didn't allow me to go wide, yeah? Fair enough. Right, watch this stuff. One pass, back to him, back in the middle, down the line, go wide. I'm trying to run down, ball rolling with it. Vahovic, turning back to Marshall, no response from the controller. So you see what I'm saying? There are dead zones in the controller. Why was there no response at all? It's the same reason why I can't go into a circle. It's the reason why I can't go into a circle and why the player keeps going forward and backwards. Rather than just making a fucking circle. Look, so now I'm going to try pressing. Guess what? Dead zones in the controller. Which means there is no response at the direction that I'm pressing. Yeah, I'm trying to twist him. Dead controller. Right, watch this now. Back in the middle. Back to here. Wide. Push it down the line. Marshall, no. Every time I try to dribble in the box, for some reason the controller just stops. The player just stops moving and the AI just wins the ball, runs off. Yeah. As you can see, watch this. Back there. Back there. Through the middle. As it, as Vahovic, not Vahovic, Kalashin goes in. Ball roll in the center. Turning back. He's not very good. Why is he stopping me from scoring? Back there. Kiss him. To the left. Somehow the keeper saves it. So there's constant issues where I'm facing. Constant issues I'm facing. Who the fuck wouldn't be angry? Who wouldn't want to do as much bumbuck like damage to the people responsible as possible? 
but this is millions of dollars potentially in revenue stream from streaming platform youtube steam twitch millions of dollars and then you have uh, not only that you have competition money not only that you have sponsorship just like how the little white boy from called tex from england has sponsorships by nike and these type of teams and companies yeah so basically stopping me from potentially making millions of dollars bro. who would be happy about that who would not want to hurt every single bone in your body you know what i mean who wouldn't like put it out it's on youtube it will be on youtube you cannot win this bro. because you cannot tell me brand new controller is already having a problem the controller is about the about this what the 12 yeah i ordered the controller on the 12 today is the 29th the first day the game came up today is the 29th of september i bought it on the 29th of september the controller came on the 30th of september yeah the controller is a series 2 core whatever as you can see yeah it's got the little paddles at the back you can see there let me go on you can see the little paddles there. I can pull them out. Yeah. I can pull them out. Yeah. So where is it? Yeah. I can pull them out. It's a, it's a series too. It's a brand new controller. How can the controller be broken in, what, what's that, 10? In 13, 14, 15 days? So what happened? Why is the controller broken? Did you people go to Corey's? And set Corey's up to to mentally mash up the controller. Did you go and meet Corey's, yeah, the delivery man from Royal Mail, and swap the controller and tell him, oh, give him this one. It's national security. And the little white con fucking gave it to you and swapped it around. Is that what you man did? You can't win because there's no explanation why it fucking doesn't work properly. Which means it's one thing. You either met the you either met him from Royal Mail. And because you got white hair and white skin and blue eyes, just like him, he swapped the controller on the way to my house. And, he, and obviously, you little cunts are just like them sort of weasel. Or, you're hacking my game. It's one of them. There's no other way for the controller to be broken. Because not only the controller has got problems, the game is clearly having issues on its fucking own. Clear as day. So, what's the issue here, blood? You know what I mean? You man know you've got yourself a problem now. What are you going to do? I mean, I'm curious. I, the reason why I'm going, going to go as far as possible is because what are you really going to do? What did you expect to happen for me to go and cry to BBC and cry to these people and say, oh, it's been a nightmare and allow you to walk around after that? You're the one that will face the nightmare, but I can tell you that. If you think I'm allowing you to walk around after all of this, you're crazy, man. I can tell you that. If you think you're walking around with any normal life and have me in Britain crying and screaming about how it was a dreadful nightmare and you walk around with your little weaselly cell and think you were going to live it down, you were wrong. Bro. Because I can prove that this happens to a lot of people, maybe not in this specific way, but people cry all the time about how these things happen to them. So therefore, it's all premeditated, bitch. Look at it. Look at it. It doesn't matter if everybody. Everybody isn't in that room pressing the buttons. You're pressing the button, you see if you cut. Yeah? Everybody can be in a conspiracy. When the police are locking people up for conspiracy, do they lock up everyone who knows about it? No, they fucking don't. They lock up the people who committed the conspiracy in self like. And if they can tie them to other criminal activities, then they fucking win. So it doesn't matter who supports you, it doesn't matter who agrees, you're the one that's committing the offence, dumb dumb. Yeah? The support that you get just means they won't tell me who you are. And that is your only safety net. Bitch, I hope that net don't break, you get me? If I were you, I hope that net don't break. Bro. But trust me, I'm coming at you full-blooded, bro. I don't know what you are, bro. Trust me, I don't. I won't say them things on social media. But trust me, I know exactly what you are. Doing. You try to trick man by a hard man got schizophrenia. Oh, and this is love, and I'm all imagining it. Well, I bought a brand new controller 15 days ago. 
yeah, the 13, two days, 15, yeah, 15 to the 10th, yeah, 15 to the 20th, five days, yeah, so we're looking at seven days, seven and nine, 16, 16 days ago, what's wrong with my controller? Why can't I go into a circle? Why can't I go into a circle? So it's clearly registering the circle, as you can see the arrow. You can see the arrow. You can see the arrow going in a fucking circle. Look at the player going forward, bro. Look. Why is the game behaving like that? It's not doing what I'm saying to do. Am I supposed to get play a game that I can't do what I want to do? Look. <laughs> I'm not controlling this game, bro. The game's playing me, you get me? <laughs> I'm not playing the game. The game's playing me, bro. That's why you man can't come and arrest me because you know there's no way you get win this because EA would obviously be drawn into it. Microsoft Xbox would obviously be drawn into it. And why would they take the blame? Let's see how together white people really are. Will Xbox and EA Sports be willing to lose millions just to protect you, you know? <laughs> Let's see how big you are in the system, bro. I mean... And that's what all of this is about. You know? To see who you are in the system. You get me? You know? See how powerful and respected you are. Mm. You're not forcing me to go and get any lawyer blood. Because your country is going to hide the fact of exactly who you are. And try to put it on the actual organization itself. I know exactly how you men behave. You ain't blaming the organization. The organization is just a registered company. You are the individual that did it specifically, bro. I'm after the man who did it specifically. There's no law against going after the person who did it specifically. Yeah? Other people would have fucking gone after the company and seek compensation for damages and then spend the rest of their life drinking down bottles and bottles of alcohol and sleeping pills. Because guess what? They're suffering. If you think you're walking away from this with no traumatic um, um, effects and emotional damage, you are mistaken, black. Hear that? Yeah, England said this is not as business as usual. It's not 1977 anymore. This is a new world, black. Trust me. You are the people who are suffering from historical beliefs yeah. you're the one that's stuck in the past and believe that you're still living that time the world's changed the laws changed everything has changed Just all of that is on my fucking side even the science of my behavior is on my side you stupid cunt <laughs> even the science is on my side because i can show a million fucking videos of little british boys mashing up their houses screaming shouting absolutely going mad yeah because they can't win and they were just not good enough you are purposely doing this while telling me i'm not good enough so that is emotional abuse psychological abuse cohesive control cohesive abuse economic sub sabotage what else is it falls into everything you can think about so chorus is going to be drawn in Every one of them. Why do you think I keep going from different places, jumping from one company to the next? Because there's no way all of these companies can just make mistakes with me. Yeah? There's simply no fucking way possible. Yeah? Impossible. That's what you should know. This is not the 16th and 15th century. This is not 1945 and 35. Yeah, it's a complete different world you live in, where regular people have access to science. So your experts that would come into the courtroom and give their expert opinion. Guess what? Everything they know is on the internet. We are all fucking experts with Google, lad. In case you didn't realize it, and I'm sure by now even they realize it. <laughs> we are all experts, you know what I mean, so. Keep sending your subliminal message. Keep using your little proxy people because you know you're screwed. Me saying, oh, you're sending people to harass me sounds a bit mm, iffy. But if I describe it as 
proxy sort of psychological warfare. The judge would ask what exactly is proxy. Yeah, and that's the easiest part to explain. I say expert um this description. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's not, you saying that it's a proxy thing. It's an expert description where you and your friends are organizing it, and others are basically doing the work on your behalf. Yeah. How did you convince them to do all of that? It doesn't matter if I have the right names or not. As long as they work for the company. The company should have a list of people who were on that phone call at fucking that point of who was working on that specific day. That would be too easy. Obviously, they're not going to take the fall for you, bitch. So I know why I'm not in handcuffs. I know why you're not turning up with your NHS stuff. Because if they turn up, you have a serious problem. If the police turn up, I'll happily go with them, blood. Because you ain't winning that case. <laughs> so let's play the game, blood. Let's see how long I last. Because I've got millions of dollars in compensation, blood. Just all fee for a loan, mate. Yeah? Millions, blood. And you ain't got that money to pay because you would not have done that job, blood. You wouldn't be working in that job. Simple as that. So whoever comes and watch this game after and come and secretly, because one person just needs to record it and everybody else can see it. That's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> one person needs to work. You've got OBS, isn't it? <laughs> Microsoft has got a built-in screen recorder. So one person watches the video I record the whole video and then you go and play for everybody else. There's not a hard in saying and figuring out what you're doing, dude. Like, it's not a hard. Yeah. You spoof my account, mess with my account, don't get it suggested to people, don't let out anybody new see, nobody see their account. And whoever, one of them 50 people, out of them 50 people, works with your organization, dude. The sad thing what you're going to find. Them accounts are registered to IP address. That is where you're failing and falling short, Abel. Because what happened is going to reroute his IP address just to re-watch my YouTube video. <laughs> you'll be giving away yourself. Everywhere you turn, you're giving away yourself, police force. Every fucking way you turn, you lot are giving away yourselves, man. And I ain't acting like I'm pissed off. I'm more than pissed off. But it's no act. You hear that? It's very real. Very fucking real, good.
Let's do this three times two ways on the Wish me good luck though. You never know, we just need one good bit of luck. Get some good luck and maybe even get some good luck by. Okay, guys, so check this out. This is 
we are, so everybody wants to have a it's pretty good. You know, but we've got a mighty way of bringing it back. A mighty two hearted, a mighty Ottoman, eight young packet men, eight knee for knee, eight for knee for four, okay, and then the first one there. But if they get far in the uh, tournament, it's going to be something to work with it, or they've got a pocket to check on there as well. Pretty cool. So that brings up an to the wild one. Harland, obviously, will be sick as well, because uh, Harland is in Europe. But yeah, the I mean, the Ottomans could be mad as well. The Ottomans and the Saka, if you get any of those top four ones, you just got the other time. Get the other ones in the top four. Okay, so it's good. Probably won't go. Probably won't go. Yeah, brilliant, Fabinho. Here we go. Swiss the uh, Monaco. Thank you. 
Wow, well that was terrible. Brand players we saw. I think I'm gonna evolve Ansu Fati. Crack a one in the chat if you think I should be doing that. It costs fifty K though. Maybe I should just I'm gonna play him left mid. Uh, but maybe we should just be playing let's just uh, let's just see who I can get actually in Prem. Gordon says I should. Let's just see who I've got in Prem so Gordon who I can get for sixty K. I need someone playing left mid in a four four three. Let's go Premier League. So Matoma Inform is available. He's going to look pretty poor, actually. Four star, four star. And can you evolve him twice now? Just once. What's the highest rate? I think I've seen people have been like an 84 rated uh, for Tony. I mean, Matoma's the only one really worth going for in here if you weren't going to spend the money to buy. Matoma, is that the Ingo? That does look pretty good, though. He's available for just shy of 30,000. It does kind of look pretty good. But he's the only left mid that's actually really available at the moment. Money. Okay. So yeah. Oh, we can get an E7 more time. What? Right, let's go take a look at him. Is he still on a coat Can you do a start of box and more than half time player? Well, maybe some of them. Probably in great. Let's just ask him. Can I see that? Can someone ask him? Okay. Tell that Lumos come out now. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to. Options for Anthony Fatty here. Let's use the rest of our list. So, let's break him up. I think we can do that, can't we? Start your evolution with this. Let's start him on eight. Let's just get him on five. Not great. What about the Phoenix game? Let's play him on eight. 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 You must be doing a bunch of stuff. We do this one first, because Rob is 